today I have a bunch of old light bulbs for the microwave. They're all incandescents of one size or another. And one of them is already in and ready to go. So let's see what, if anything, these things will do. And of course I have another camera rigged up to this specially modified microwave so I can get footage without having to look through the microwave door and get a crummy picture. There we go, at least this bulb's doing something. It's a bulb from a uh, picture light. Incandescent, of course. This one doesn't look like it's going to do much more than just glow in the vertical position, so let's stop and try something else. This time I set that same bulb up horizontally, but it doesn't seem to be making a difference. It seems to be able to take the power of this microwave and just glow. I was hoping for more. I think it's time to switch to a different light bulb. Let's try a round light bulb. Yeah, that's better. Plasma. And the bulb blew. Perfect. Let's try a small one. Now I don't like this bulb much either. It's not much fun. It's just sitting there glowing. Not good enough. Let's try a little frosted chandelier bulb this time. And the chandelier bulb's doing something, but not very much. I think all I'll get out of it is a dull orange glow from one spot. Another boring light bulb.
While the round bulb I put in uh, was the best, it actually burst, so let's try another round bulb, but upside down this time. Round bulb number two. Getting plasma. This one survived a bit longer. Oh, just when I thought it was done, it gave a few more, uh... Oh yeah, the side's swollen and bulged out. I think this one is, uh, done. But it was another good one. Power off. Here goes the core from a thousand watt metal halide. Well, that was interesting, and it survived the microwave. Just as I was about to put everything away, I found a compact fluorescent spiral that still has vacuum in it, so let's give it a try in the microwave here. Maybe this will do something. Power on. Well, it glows, anyway. Definitely glowing. Well, we'll give it a minute or two and see if uh, anything happens. Well, it's had about one minute. And it's just glowing. Just the odd flicker. Looks like this one's gonna live to uh, pay a visit to the capacitor bank in another video. Yeah, I'll kill it with something else. 
had to try it. Again, I was about to finish, close up, put stuff away, but I just ran across a UV sterilizer tube, so it has vacuum in it still. Let's give it a try. Let's see what, if anything, the UV sterilizer tube will do. Certainly lights up in here. Well, I guess I'll just be getting some inside view footage of a uh, UV sterilizer tube lighting up. I don't think I'll be popping this one. Let it run a little longer, but probably it won't pop. It will pop if I hook it up to the capacitor bank in another video. Might just have to do that sometime. Well, the tube's working because I can smell ozone coming off the microwave. Certainly freshening the air in the shop here a little bit. Well, that's run long enough. It's obviously not going to pop in here, so power off. We'll save it for something else. Well, that was today's light bulbs in the microwave. Some were interesting, some weren't. It's the way it goes. Thanks for watching, and there'll be plenty more to come, as always. Another look at to today's collection of light bulbs of various types that went through the inside view microwave.